everybody. Happy Thursday to you. My name is Lori DeGroote from Lori De Marie Crafts, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Calgary, Alberta, and I love to come live every Thursday so I can give you fun tips, techniques, and inspiration to help you take your crafting supplies and turn them into beautiful projects so you can have fun while you're creating and then share your completed projects with others. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're taking time to catch the replay later, I so appreciate you doing that as well. If you guys are ever looking for some more information, you can always find um, find out, hopefully, whatever you need at my website, which is loritamariecrafts.ca. Now, today I'm so excited because we are going to be making birthday tags and cards um, with one of my favorite stamp sets from the new mini catalog, which is called Best Day. It's a standalone stamp set, so it's not part of a suite or whatever, and it's just so cute. And I just want to show you three fun and easy ideas to take the fun outline stamps in that set and turn them into cute birthday tags, which we all need, right? So um, stay tuned for that. Before we get started, I just want to take a quick moment to say that today is the very last day um, to sign up for my January class. So every month I have a class where I feature um, a fun project. And um, this month in January, I do um, a mini album. So let me just take, let me just show you. So my mini album, the class is featuring products from the Regency Park Suite, which is um, a brand new suite from the mini catalog. And it is so cute and so fun. You guys are gonna love it. And um, I only do mini albums in January. So if you love the idea of it, I wanna try it out. Now is your chance, you don't wanna miss out. So here is this, I'll show you a sneak peek actually in a second when I point the camera down. Um, but in my class, if you are in Canada, you can get the full card kit. And in a kit, you get everything that you need to complete the project, okay? Except for the stamp set um, and ink pads, which you need to provide. Um, but you're gonna get half a pack of the beautiful, let's see if I can show it, Regency Park DSP, which I love, it's so fun. You're gonna get some cardstock that coordinates with the colors in the DSP so that, and this is extra that you just kind of like can use on other projects. I always go the wrong way, this way. <laughs> there we go, I can figure this out. Um, you're gonna get the ribbon and embellishments, and then you're also gonna get all the die cut pieces and everything you need to put the project together with a PDF and a video tutorial. So I will put the link up um, so you can get all the details on the cost and the shipping and how to pay and stuff like that. Um, if you live, if you just want the tutorial, you can also purchase the tutorial. And then of course you have lifelong access to it um, to create the project whenever you like, or as many times as you like with different products. Um, and that's available to anybody anywhere. So you don't have to live in Canada to get a tutorial. Um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and point the camera down to give you, well, maybe not. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Let's give you the little sneak peek. So here's the album. And I'm not gonna open it, so that's a surprise for the people in the class, but I had so much fun putting this together and you can kind of see it's got like a special, it opens up and then it's got a special thing on the inside that all flips open, open. Um, so don't be like intimidated by it if you haven't tried a mini album before um, because I'm gonna take you step by step on how to put it together. Um, and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And it could be a cute project for you. Maybe you wanna, um, save it and put your own kind of memories and mementos in it, or you can make it and then give it away as a gift. So today is the deadline. I need to hear from you by the end of the day. All right, so let's get down to my desktop here so that you can, um, so we can get into our projects today. And so like I said, I'm gonna be using, let me show you. Um, the best day stamp set. So I saw this and I loved it right, right away. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's so cute. And what I was so excited about it was that it was like a traditional um, birthday stamp set. I've kind of actually been waiting for one that just had like balloons or candles or cakes or whatever that I could really make just a regular birthday card. Um, and so this is fun. Uh, so, but it's going you know, got outline stamps. So what I want to do is show you three easy ways that you can use these kind of outline stamps. Actually, it ends up being four ways, I think. Um, so that's <laughs> get a bonus way. Uh, so that you can see how you can create these and not to be intimidated if you think, oh, I'm not into coloring. I don't have all the things to color. I'm going to show you some great um, tips and tricks to do that. And we're going to be using, um, so I wanted kind of like fun, vibrant party paper. And... Uh, so I actually went back to um, a package of designer series paper from 
the annual catalog. So this is the Hues of Happiness DSP. And I love it because, you know, it's kind of floral, but it's got other patterns too. But it's like all the brights. So we're going to be focusing on the brights family. So Stampin' Up! has four color families plus in colors. And um, the brights are just what you think, right? They're bold, they're vibrant, and um, they're just so much fun, right? So like Melon Mambo into Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody to Daffodil Delight, to Granny Apple Green to Costa Cabana. Uh, this is actually fresh freesia, but you could picture um, an gorgeous grape here at the end. So you've got this full rainbow of colors that is so much fun for birthdays. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to actually cut out some tags. Um, and we're going to make three tags. Or I'm going to show you how to make three tags. And um, you're going to I'm going to show you how to turn those tags into cards, okay? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to be using the TaylorMade tag dies because um, that's just what I'm using today. So you get all these fun shapes of dies, and these can be used with the mini stamp and cut and emboss. So um, the mini, I'm going to be using my big one today just because I have it out. But here, let me show you the mini one. So if you're just starting out, off and need a die cutting machine. The mini is so cute and portable. Look how awesome this thing is. And um, it's actually part of a starter kit deal. So if you um, want to be a part of stamping up, you can get an amazing, amazing deal um, that includes product plus the mini. So that's a good way to get started. Oh, I just smacked my computer. It's probably not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this DSP, this the fun, fun rainbow colors here, and I'm going to cut a strip of it just so I don't waste it, just kind of bigger than the size of the tag. So I'm actually just cutting mine uh, two and a half inch strip. And then what I was thinking was that what's so fun about this paper is that you could have a variety of colors depending on who you want to give it to. So look at, you can cut out the pinks, then you can go down to the yellows and greens, and then you can go down to the purples and blues. So much fun. So this is the one we're gonna to use today. So I'm just gonna grab my machine. So this is the full size. You can see how much bigger it is than the mini. So the mini one is great for like, if you have a smaller craft space or if you like to travel or take your crafting supplies, um, camping, let's say in the summertime, then the mini is awesome for that. So I'm going to put my tag on the purples and blues, run it through here. And then you can see how I could get three tags out of this strip, right? So I could go ahead and cut the green and yellow one, and then I could get all those pretty pinks. So lots of fun color variation there. Let's move that out of the way. So this is gonna be the base of our tag. And then we're going to use our cute little cat stamp here. And I'm gonna show you three different ways to color the cute little cat. So I've got three circles here. And if you're looking for a great way to get circles, the layering circles dies. You have all sorts of different shapes. This is the one that's about two and a half um, inches in diameter. So let's start with our first guy here. So grab our little cat. And I'm showing you the cat today, but it's also celebration. And so you could picture um, doing these tags, like say with the owls, the adorable owls, right? This is a stamp set that you could earn for free. So, or any animal stamp set that you have, it really works well for that. So I'm just inking the cat up here. Like, come on, this little fat cat in a cupcake holder. <laughs> it's so cute. This little birthday balloon. And I'm actually going to try to keep the bottom of the cupcake on, but the balloon is going to come off a little bit, and that's okay. Let's see, did I do that? No. I'm going to flip it over. I got it a little too high. So I got two sides, right? Okay, I actually want him a little bit lower. 
that's about what I'm aiming at here. So you see the cupcake's still on, but I've just got like half of the balloon there. Oh, and keep this out. And so the first thing I'm going to show you is, I think there's a name for it, but I'm going to stamp the balloon right onto my DSP. So this is obviously just a scrap piece of the same paper. And I'm going to stamp right on the DSP and then I'm going to cut out my balloon and then put it onto there. So this is kind of a fun way to get color onto an outline stamp is you can stamp right onto designer series paper and then it does all the coloring for you so you don't have to worry about it. So we're just going to stamp around or cut around the balloon. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know it's small, but I just wanted to show you that you could do that. And then what I want to do is we're going to put them on with a little dimensional. So I might actually, let's color him first. And then we're going to put the little balloon and it's going to kind of hang off a little bit like that. So there's obviously lots of different ways that you can do coloring. Um, and so we're just going to keep this fairly simple. So you may not have every color of the blends. I don't have every color. I'm just kind of starting off my collection, but I tried to get some of the basic colors. So this is the crumb cake set. So you get the light and dark. And so crumb cake or um, smoky slate, but you want something maybe in the neutrals so that you can do animals or more natural um, items, right? So when you're picking out your stamp and blend, so these are alcohol-based markers. So that means that they blend beautifully. That's why they're called stamp and blends. So the difference between the regular markers is that they don't show like the streaky marker lines. So you get this nice, beautiful, smooth coverage, and then you can blend the colors together in light and dark. So um, it's kind of, you can keep it as simple as you want or build your skills in this area and your coloring. It's actually one of my goals this year to build my skills uh, up a little bit in my blends coloring. But just to show you a simple way, so I've used the light one first and now I've got my dark blend, same color, crumb cake, so these come together. And the cat has these lines already. And so I'm just following the lines of the cat. I don't know if you're a cat or a dog person. I'm actually a cat person because <laughs> I grew up with cats. It's all what you're used to, right? I grew up with a cat and my cat's name was Daisy. There was Minnie too. It was the mom and then we had Daisy up until I was like in my 20s. <laughs> so that was my kitty cat growing up. So I'm just using the blends here to color the cat. So maybe you don't have a lot of colors, but maybe what you can do is you can get a package of the stamp and write markers. So did you know that we also have just regular packs of markers? So they come in a pack of 10 in a color family. So you could get the Brights color family and have 10 colors all ready to go. I don't have all of them here, but here's a few more, right? And so it gives you kind of a whole bunch of colors to work with off the get-go. So I'm going to use the purple, which is the gorgeous grape, to color our kitty cat's bow tie. And then these, this is Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to color um, his little party hat and the cupcake wrapper with the markers. So I kind of like the blends on the actual cat to give him some kind of dimension, but if you don't have a lot of colors, this is one way to keep, um, to keep coloring. So I had the markers, so I thought, oh, I'll just grab the markers and then I can have a few more colors. So this is Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to go and color my cupcake wrapper now. And he's going to look so cute when he's all done. So I don't know if you've got birthdays coming up or you like to create a little stash of birthday cards. So you've got one ready. This is going to be a cute tag that turns into a card. 
if that's what you end up needing. So I just colored the wrapper there. And then we've got to color his little nose. So you could, um, if you've got a pink or if you've got just even a pencil crayon, it's such a small little space that you could use whatever you've got to color his nose. And then I kind of thought it was a little bland with the white background. And so I am going to use a watercolor pencil. So that's another way to color. You can get a package of watercolor pencils. So I've shown that recently, if you go back on some of my um, lives, especially when I did the owls. So you can use watercolor pencils with aqua painters, or uh, I think they're called watercolor brushes now, or the blending blender pens. So there's our cute little kitty cat. And then we're going to take our balloon um, that is going to hang off that we stamped right on to the DSP. And then that's going to give a little dimension to our balloon too, which I thought was kind of fun. And so now we just need like a little sentiment. And so I'm going to show you an easy way is I've just got to strip a basic white here. And I'm going to stick with my color theme and I'm going to use um, granny, what am I calling it? Gorgeous grape, <laughs> the G words here, gorgeous grape. And I'm going to ink up my happy birthday. Stamp it on my strip. And then we're going to put this all together here. And I stamped it a little crooked, so I might cut it a little smaller. Okay, so then let's put some dimensionals on the back. <laughs> that was my cat in the wrong place. Just ignore him. And we'll put the cat on the take. And then we'll put a couple of the smaller dimensionals on the happy birthday. And then I'm going to show you a couple more ways so that you can see if you don't want to fuss with all the coloring. I've got two more simple ways that you could do it. So we're gonna put that on. And then there are gems that go with this paper. So it's got all these fun, vibrant colors. And so we're gonna use the blue and the purple just to kind of match with the colors in the paper. Gonna have a little sparkle. And then you could just add um, some twine or ribbon. I didn't actually have any white ribbon or ribbon that looked great with this paper. So I just went for some white twine. So sometimes just a package of twine is a good solution. So oh, I think I forgot a step. You could put the little, um, look at the tag has a little like reinforcement or whatever you call it around the hole. So you could add that too, just for another step. If you've got the dies here. Let me just tie this bow. Okay, so that is our first way. And there's our little kitty cat. He's so cute. Isn't he fun? Happy birthday. And so now let's show you a couple other simple ways. So you grab the same circle, but let's say you don't have a lot of colors, okay? So you don't have a lot of blends. Um, but you like the idea of this kitty cat. So I have shown this once before already. I made a card a few weeks ago, but you may not have seen it. So you could do the same thing where you stamp your little kitty cat. And I'm just looking at my sample and I should have done it. See, I need my, <laughs> I needed my back size both times. This time I don't want the balloon off. I want the balloon on. See, when I'm on camera, I can't lean over as far as I would normally. Okay, so I want him like that, so the whole balloon is on. And then you can just take, so you have one color of blends, so you're just starting out. I've got the yellow. This was actually the first one that I ever got. And it actually, I've had it so long and used it a lot. Look at my tip is a little messed up. I think I might need a new, a new set. So then you can just go around. So you don't have to color the cat itself. You're gonna create a background for the cat. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll show you in a second. And then maybe you want to differentiate the happy birthday a little bit. So an idea that you could do is grab your DSP. Let me just clean off my um, stamp. 
And then just like we did with the balloon, we're going to stamp our sentiment right onto the paper. So you can do it this way. So it's all one color. Maybe I'll do it this way. Right. And so then we can cut this out and then I've got this awesome background and I didn't have to do any coloring at all. So you can use the DSP to stamp on. So let's show you this tag. So here's that one. So, so cute. Right? So we've got the yellow and green tag and I've colored just the yellow around the cat and then we've got the happy birthday that way. So those are two ways you can do it. A third way that you can do it is if you, I'm just gonna clean my cat off here. You've got the stamp and write markers, which those markers, so blends never go on stamps, just so you know, but you can use markers on your stamps. Or if you've got the ink pads, of course, you can, you don't have to stamp your animal, your outline stamp in the black. You could always stamp it in the color. So this is Melon Mambo. And then you could keep um, the cat simple like that. Or we could take our markers again and just add little pops of color. So I don't want to color the whole thing, but I'm going to use uh, Mango Melody and I'm going to color the balloon and the bow tie and parts of the hat. And then you can go through and color all the polka dots. So it just gives a little color. So that's pretty cute too. And then another way you could stamp your sentiment. So you're gonna have three ways to do your cats and three ways to do your sentiments is you could take your blends. So say you've got that same yellow, you could create a background just like that. And then we could take our happy birthday again. And let's see if I can get over here. And you can stamp it on the yellow like that. And so you've, you've got another way to do your sentiment, to add a little color to it. So let's show you the completed tag for that. And then that, that's this one here. So much fun, right? So we've got lots of great options for how you can color it, how you can do your sentiments. So just color on white, right on the DSP, use your blends to create a little background. So cute. So let's say that you've got these tags, but you actually need a card. You can turn your tags into a card. So I'm just gonna show you easily to do this. And then we've got one more special thing to show after. So we've just got a regular card base here. So this is crumb cake. And then in the same designer series paper, I've got the um, Hues of Happiness DSP. So I like this one because it's got all the colors in it. So no matter which tag you put on here, it's gonna look good. And then you could just choose from the brights backgrounds. So this is Coastal Cabana. And so I've just created a mat, okay? So this is um, three and three quarters by five. And then the mat is just slightly bigger, right? So it's uh, do it right. Three and seven eighths <laughs> and five and one eighths. I think that's what I got here. Okay. So you put that on like there and you can literally just put the tag on the front of your card. <laughs> okay. So now the tag became the front of your card. And then that looks so cute too. So we can use this as actual gift tag and attach it to a cute little um, gift bag, or you can make it into a card. So it is celebration right now and celebration means you can get free products with orders, which is so much fun. So let's say um, you want to get some colors. So you want to get maybe a package of markers. So you get a package of markers and then you need some designer series paper. So you get a package of the brights and you get the hues of happiness, DSP or whichever paper is your favorite. You can then get the owl stamp set for free and then instead of your little kitty cats you can do the owls so let me show you the same thing but with the owls so i've colored so we've got the owl colored in the blends i've done the owl was just the background and then i've just stamped the owl 
with color. So he stamped in granny apple green, and then I just used my markers the same way as I did with the cat. So it looks super cute no matter which animal that you're doing. <laughs> so that, the adorable owls or this fun kitty cat. And I promised you one other special thing. So there's lots going on today. So stick around for another minute. Um, yeah, so that's, you just have to spend $60 to get the owl stamp set for free. So that's really awesome. So like I said, package of markers and some DSP, or maybe you need a couple new ink pads, or maybe you want the tailored tag dies and some colors. So there's obviously a variety of ways that you could get up to $60 and then you could get the owls for free. So quickly, because we don't want to forget this awesome stamp that's part of the best day stamp set, which is the birthday cake. So again, you can color this whole thing, which is fun when you've got all the blends, but what if you don't have every color and you still want to use this really fun um, stamp set here. This actually is an idea from the catalog and actually it's big stamp. I'm going to do my inking up this way. So if you've got Stampin' Up's catalogs, they're just like a treasure trove of ideas, right? So you might recognize this from the catalog, but I just wanted to highlight it for you. So you could just ink up this cute birthday cake in black. And then you could, if you just had a few colors, so, oops, that's not the one I want. <laughs> I'm gonna do Melon Mambo and Daffodil Delight. Um, just to kind of match the way the gradient that the DSP goes. So it's kind of going to look like this. And I'm going to use the blending brushes. And now there's mini blending brushes. So you can get the minis. These are the full size ones. Um, but you can use the blending brushes in your ink pads. So Mellow Mambo is quite vibrant. So you're going to want to start off your paper and then kind of start just really gentle. Or you're going to get it way too dark and darker than you want. And I'm gonna go about halfway down. Start with the Melon Mambo. And then I'm gonna use a second one in the Daffodil Delight. And then I'm gonna color the bottom of my cake here. And then I'm gonna try to overlap or blend. They are blending brushes. So I'm gonna blend over the middle and then you're gonna get that pretty coral color as the yellow and the pink mix together, which I love. I love that combination, so pretty. So then you could cut this out to kind of size, and then this could, could become your tag. So you could use that same DSP, and say you don't have the tag dies, you could just use this shape, put it on the DSP, we could cut it out to size, hole punch, and stick a little ribbon in it, and that could be a birthday tag too. It doesn't have to be an actual tag shape to be a tag. <laughs> so lots of options there. So I hope you had fun with me in these cute projects. I'm just gonna come back um, to me for a second here. Thanks so much for watching today. Um, let me know if you tried this technique or which one you like the best or if you like the owls or the cats better, but they're so cute. And you're gonna have lots of fun coloring these and have a little set you could just have fun watching a show one night and just make a few and then you're ready to go for the next birthday that's coming up um it's so cute i love these so thank you so much for hanging out with me today don't forget about my january stamp and create class today thursday january the 19th is the very last day to sign up um so i will oh i forgot all the details i'm going to post here in the comments all the details on the class you can just go to my website and find everything out and I will be back again next week. Of course, I'm here live every Thursday and I will be sharing you some fun um, projects with some of the celebration items. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.